Hello and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host today, Carrie Coogan. And today we're at Historic Union Station and we're in the Science City Museum downstairs. And today with us is uh, Jeannie Lauer, a Missouri State representative. Thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. How are you doing? Great. And your year has kicked off well and things it are is, going It is okay? and we're hitting the ground running. So what are you working on? Well, there are uh, two key things, certainly. Uh, first of all, the committees have changed uh, this year, the structure in, in the House of Representatives. And so we have a committee on commerce uh, that I am vice chair of, and that is incorporating three key elements, economic development, small business, and trade and tourism. And so from that standpoint, we're looking at a more global approach to economic development rather than just focusing on bringing uh, employers into the state. So what does that mean when you say global? I mean, you're, I mean, I know you're so like internationally. Yes. I mean, what, can you tell me a little bit more about sure. that? Sure. We're looking at opportunities for our small businesses in Missouri to export, uh, whether it is through our port system, through our trains, through transportation, not only to other states, but to international locations as well. So we're really trying to open up the markets for Missouri. Um, okay, what about, um, I know you're working on uh, 911 legislation. Yes. Can you talk about that? Yes. Uh, this has been something we've been working on for the last couple of years, and this year we feel we really have it so fine-tuned that it's going to be good to go. So what is it specifically? I mean, can you explain sure. what, what it is exactly? Sure. Unfortunately, Missouri is the last state in the United States to have a system where everyone can get 911. So currently we have about 17 counties that do not have 911 access. And it could be through I-70 from uh, the Kansas line to the Illinois line where you may go through a spot where you cannot get 911 service. What do you do if you don't have 911 service? What will happen is if you're in one of those areas and an incident occurs, you will get uh, to a location that will send you to another location and potentially another location to get service to you. So time certainly can be wasted. And you know we want it to where anybody who calls in, whether it's on a landline, a cell phone, no matter what part of the state they're going through, and it's not just about driving. It could be your canoeing. Uh, some of our areas in our Mark Twain forest and our, our uh, river systems may run into some of those areas. So we just want everyone, whether they're citizens or our tourists, or anyone passing through to be able to be safe and get that service. So you think that that's going to happen this year? You think this is finally going to get the We're opportunity We're confident, to pass? yes. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, you know, we've talked, it's been, you know, top of mind for people sure. just talking about, um, you know, sort of the political and, and discourse, um, you know, g getting both sides of the aisle to agree right. and, and compromise and, and have, um, you know, substantive discussion. Sure. Can you tell us what you're doing to try to make that happen? Yes. Uh, to, you, to the citizens and constituents out there. Absolutely. You know, when we bring it down to what the real issues are, as an example, 911, that is not a partisan issue. Uh, the fact that all of our folks uh, on both sides of the aisle or whatever aisle you're on, everybody needs jobs. We all have children that want to be educated. So when we talk about the issue, that's really common across the board. The difference is when we take a position on how we're going to go about it. And so for me, my work is generally bringing everybody to the table, to the kitchen table, and having a conversation about what's the best way for us to get it there. And that is not a party issue. Do you find it's working? Are, are you having success getting people to the table and just having these discussions? Yes, it is. I've been very successful with that. And, you know, it's not that complicated, but it does become complicated <laughs> yeah. when people take positions. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it should be complicated. Well, but that, sometimes... that's exactly right. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for being you here today. Welcome. Unfortunately, we're out of time. It's really a pleasure to have you, you too. here. You too. Thank you so much. And that's all the time we have on Newsmakers today, but we'll see you back here next time.